If you or a loved one has information as to the whereabouts of House Danager, please contact Meg Authorities. That was a chilling note that was found for a very chilling backrooms level. Barnaby's Bun Fun Emporium is an enigmatic level in the catalog of the backrooms, and it's been classified as a class integral due to its really strange phenomenon and these varied realities that are inside of it. It's very confusing and very uncanny, and I'm about to go over all of it right now. Across wanderers inside of the back rooms, Barnaby's Fun Emporium is probably one of the most horrific and strange levels that we found as of this date. The level resembles an abandoned early 80s era children's party restaurant. The history of the restaurant itself is not fully known or understood, but there's notes and there's marketing from around it that are pointed to a few facts. We know for sure that the company that owned this restaurant went bankrupt in the year 1990, and that the restaurant's name is Barnaby's Bun Fun Emporium, and Barnaby seemed to close in 1989. The level's existence has brought forth several theories about the backrooms and how it relates to real life and the concepts of heaven and hell. There are several just strange demonic items and images that have been found in this level, as well as some very dark concepts and themes, too. There's been several items of interest taken from this level to be examined by Meg, and those are Barnaby party decorations, expired ingredients, expired soda, and party-themed merchandise like balloons and confetti, and then finally, frozen pizzas. All of these items have been taken by Meg employees to look further into and to try to examine and deduce how they got there. Now, if you noticed, all of these items are pretty much what you would expect to find in an old arcade diner from the late 80s. It's been heavily noted that you should never, under any circumstance, eat anything on this level. No matter how good it looks, no matter how fresh it looks, do not eat anything here. The level is not fully explored, but as of right now, we just have this rudimentary description. There's a lowly lit, dark restaurant area with booths and tables and chairs. An empty, staticky aura resides over the entire level. If you ever went to Chuck E. Cheese as a kid, it kind of looks like that. The level feels as if it's stuck outside of time, and nothing has changed since 1989 when it closed. It feels like it's been abandoned though, but nothing's changed. There are remnants of a party that's been held here at one point, in the form of strange decorations, streamers, happy birthday balloons, and all that stuff being hung up. It feels like there was something happening, and then everybody left all at once and the entire area feels so strange and eerie to be inside of. Only one entity has been documented to exist within the level's confines, and it's been described as a large Leporidae-like figure, which is the company's mascot, Barnaby. Now, a Leporidae is a type of rabbit, so you can kind of imagine an uncanny rabbit animatronic mascot thing. That's what Barnaby looks like. Now, from this description, we also get the little tidbit that the logo for Barnaby's Fun Emporium has this rabbit's face in it. That's pretty much all the information we know about the business itself. We know that it has a bunny face on it, and we know that it's named Barnaby's Bun Fun Emporium. Who knows if that means something, but it's cool nonetheless. The behaviors of Barnaby and its aura have been described as the following. Barnaby rarely shows itself to visitors. And when, or if it does, it'll slowly appear from the darker corners of the restaurant with an unbreaking and piercing gaze. It's pretty much just staring holes through you and if anybody else is there. Barnaby almost never speaks or vocalizes, and any audio that comes out of its suit is very staticky and unintelligible gibberish. It just kind of sounds like a robot talking, but a broken one. Its attitude and treatment of wanderers that visit the level will change depending on who's there. Sometimes Barnaby's passive, and they don't even acknowledge that you're there, but other people will get attacked instantly by Barnaby without hesitation. And these attacks are very ruthless. Barnaby will bite and claw and scratch and pretty much tear its victims from limb from limb, and what Barnaby does with these victims afterwards is unknown. We don't know if it consumes them or stores them somewhere. We have no idea. There have been numerous attempts and investigation to find the bodies of missing people here. However, none have succeeded. Barnaby is incapable of leaving the Level's restaurant or escaping the Level at all. 
Even though it's displayed a high level of intelligence, and it seems to be fully aware of its surroundings, Barnaby's existence is still unknown. It can't tell us why it's there, and we also don't know why it can't leave. But what I just explained to you is literally all we know. It's a strange, rabbit-like, mascot, animatronic thing that may or may not attack you if you come here. Now, you cannot harm Barnaby, and any use of weapons that has been used in the past has not worked at all. To be frank, it's actually done worse for you, because then Barnaby will get mad. And this just makes the creature that more dangerous, as if it could have gotten scarier than a giant animatronic bunny. There are no bases here, of course. I doubt Barnaby would enjoy or appreciate that. And if you come to the Fun Emporium, the only known entrance is from level four, the office building. Now, you might run across an elevator with the Barnaby Bun Fun Emporium logo on it, and if you do in level four, you open it up and you'll enter inside here from a janitor's closet. Now, exiting the level is as simple as getting back in that elevator that you used to enter. The only problem is, occasionally the entrance to this elevator will not open. It'll just be stuck closed, and it's been known to change itself into that janitor's closet for extended periods of time before turning back to the elevator. So you better hope that when you're trying to leave, Barnaby isn't fed up with you and chasing you around because you don't have time to wait for the elevator then. But this exit is not guaranteed to appear instantly. Barnaby's Fun Emporium is not very well understood, and even the information I just told you took forever for Meg to catalog and describe. As of right now, it's a very, very dangerous thing to get sent here since your safety cannot be guaranteed because, you know, Barnaby has his own mind. It's been kidnapping people for years. Theories on this level range from it being a forgotten real-world diner from the front rooms from the 1980s, and it somehow ended up here, to it being a diner from another dimension from the multiverse, to other things, like Barnaby being the creator of the level, and it kind of functions as a trap for Barnaby to consume people as their prey. Who knows, whatever it may be, it's a very dangerous place, and it should not be trifled with under any circumstance at all. You've been warned by me, you've been warned by Meg, don't go, it's, it's that simple, man. Me personally, I could probably, you know, take him in a fight, but that's just because I'm me. You're not me. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this level. Uh, it's super OG, and honestly, I don't even know how it took me this long to go over it. I meant to do it last year, but oh well, better late than never. Drop a like if you did enjoy this explanation, and check out the description for all my socials if you want to see cool pictures of me and my friends and my life. If not, then I... Uh, that's all I've got to say. I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love. I'll see ya.